Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Maybe you were wondering how come it's a little bit quiet on my side and on my channel, but I've been very busy at work. I still have been a little bit ill as well. Maybe you can still hear it on my voice, but we're back here and today we got the FX Pantera again on the table and we're going to talk about why it's really set up for left-handed shooters or why you can really set it up for left-handed shooters. FX, I think is, this is the first rifle they produced, which is completely ambidextrous and really suitable for left-handed shooters as well. Uh, in the past, we had the FX Impact, of course, where you could swap around the cocking handle to the left side, but then you were still stuck with the cheek piece and the magazine on that side, which was not really 100% comfortable for those left-handed shooters. Uh, maybe you want to swap your cocking handle to the other side as a right-handed shooter for some uh, quick actions or whatever. Maybe you prefer to have it on the left side. You have the options with the FX Pantera. The Pantera probably gets shipped from the factory to all the dealers with the right-hand configuration. And of course, you can ask your uh, local dealer in order to set it up for you as a lefty, but you can do it by yourself as well. And it's a very simple and easy process. So in this video, we're going to cover uh, to see how exactly you have to set up those parts and what you have to do to swap the cocking handle from left to right as well as the cheek piece. So let's get started. Right, so let's get straight into it. First thing you gotta do, of course, is have to make sure your rifle is safe to work on. It is not cocked, there are no pellets in the breech, and it has been put on safe. Safe rifle to work on, always very important. The first thing we'll do for easy work is remove my scope. I got some element optics rings in it, holding my Titan on top of it. Just like this. And then we'll put our focus first on the cheek piece. So the best thing is to loosen up these screws you see right here. Remove the cheek piece and put it to the side for the second. Then you see that little bar you have here with those two screws that we will have to swap around to the other side right there. Very easily done with a three millimeter uh, Allen key. They were a little bit tight it seems. That's one. That's two. Make sure you don't lose your screws. And take that little part to the side for a second. Also remove the two tightening knobs all the way, just like this. Turn your gun around, like so. Put that plate in this orientation, like so. Those two screws again. Tighten those up. The two locking screws, or thumb screws, however you want to call them. Like this. Take your cheek piece. And now you have two corresponding holes on the other side. Drop your cheek piece in like this. Tighten up the screws. And just like this, you already have swapped around your uh, cheek piece set up for a left-handed shooter. Then with the cheek piece turned around, let's uh, put our attention to the cocking handle. First thing we'll do is remove that uh, cover plate you have on this side because we will be transferring the cocking handle to this side. To uh, remove that uh, cover plate, you have two screws, one right here and one right here. The one at the back, I believe, is a two millimeter. Take that screw out, put it to the side so you don't lose it. And the one here at the front, right there, 
is a one and a half millimeter I think very tiny screw take it all the way out just to be sure keep them safe to the side somewhere and at this point we should be able to take that out I believe if you push just a little bit on this end right here you can grab behind it maybe if we turn it around and then it falls out just like this this is that part same here put it safely to the side with that uh, screws you can see they have different sizes And now you already have a nice opening where to put your cocking handle. So let's transfer it to the other side. There are actually three or two screws, I believe. I have never done this myself. So I believe there is a screw right there. If you open up your cocking lever, you might be able to see it. There is one right there in that hole, which is uh, holding the lever right here. And then you have one here that you will also have to take out to take the complete assembly out so let's start with the one here at the front also two millimeter and there it comes Fairly long screw it seems. You see it's a screw with a small pin, there was some Loctite on it as you could see. But with a little bit of force you can of course remove it. And there you have it, the first part is open. Let me put that screw safely to the side somewhere. One second. And then we can go ahead, remove this one right here, on top of your cocking handle, same here, seems like they put it Loctite on everything. Let me grab my normal Allen key. Probably they have done it to prevent it from backing out while you're shooting. This is just uh, the first screw and I believe there is still one underneath. This one is the one that prevents the other one from coming loose. And it seems like those screws, well, let me put the Pantera down for a second so we don't lose the cocking handle when the screw comes out just like this seems like this screw right here could be from a little bit better quality or the uh, hex key at that part so be advised be very careful when taking these out use a good allen key not to strip it out otherwise you'll be in a lot of trouble and then at this point we can just lift out our complete cocking handle and the first thing you want to do of course when you put this to the other side is reverse that uh, cocking handle itself the other direction so let's undo the allen key inside it looks like a long one pull it out turn it to the other way just like this put it back in screw inside like this turn your pantera around also be advised on the pantera with those side angled manometer gauges when you put your pantera down on this side make sure you don't damage these because these are quite fragile of course 
and then with the cocking handle just like this slide it here in between in your action make sure the holes get aligned you can use an allen key for this or trying to do this on camera of course look for that hole maybe we can eyeball it a little bit it is a little bit a game of patience take that small pin drop it in oops it's a different size allen key i think it's a little bit fiddling around aligning that hole find i think i got it finding the correct orientation screw that screw in All the way down don't have to tighten it too much then remember we took out the one right there slide in your cocking handle aligning it with that hole right there let me grab maybe a bipod quickly It'll be a lot easier for me. And you can feel it straight away when it's catching. Make sure it seats all the way, otherwise you can't close your cocking handle. So, something very important to note, that's why I quickly went off camera to check, is that screw right here in the front. You have to make sure you screw it in deep enough, make sure you don't over tighten it so you don't strip it out, so your bolt can still cl close, otherwise that screw will catch on to the uh, inner part of your cocking handle, which is uh, not the meaning of course. Then, not to forget to put the retaining screw here at the back, right there making sure that little pin can't come back out and then of course all we have to do is to close that hole right here with that cover remember that cover had two different screws a uh, tiny one and a bigger one the bigger one is for the back the tinier one for the front and it goes in just like this Maybe I'll start off with a bigger one at the back. Right there. Like this. Seems like it's already holding its position. Like so. The tiny one goes there in the front with a one and a half millimeter make sure you don't strip those threads because those are very fine threads releasing this one maybe just a little bit so that cover comes flush push a little bit from this side back make sure it's nice and flush you see when that small screw engages like this so nicely in place cocking handle closes and that's it now we have converted successfully your cocking handle to the left side as well as the cheek piece 
So guys, and there you have it, the FX Pantera setup for left-handed shooting or for those right-handed shooters who would like to have their cocking handle on the left side. Very easy to do, just remove that uh, dust cover that you have on one side, two screws, flip your um, cocking handle around, put it back on, don't forget to put the dust cover back on. Uh, just one word of advice on those tiny little uh, silver pins, use a very good Allen key, make sure it's seated properly inside and gently turn them loose um, because, because you don't want to be stripping them out, otherwise you will be in quite some uh, issues, of course. Very easy to do, as well as the cheek piece, it was just two screws, flipping that metal plate around, putting the cheek piece back on and you're good to go. If you have any questions regarding this, please put them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answering them. As always, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll catch you back in the next one. Bye.